It sure does. And how about this string of mysterious lights streaking through the sky? You may have seen that last night. People across Northern California spotted them. Many of you called us asking if they're UFOs, aliens, or if we should be concerned about space debris hitting us. So we're getting answers for you. I talked with an expert tonight with the Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society for some insight into what it was and if we'll see it again. Wow. What, what is hell? that? When a sudden string of lights raced through the sky, no surprise, people whipped out their cell phones to capture it. I've never seen a tail like that. That could be freaking spaceships. No, they're not. That it's got is a tail. An alien. We've been asked, were these aliens? Were these UFOs? Are we having some sort of space invasion? You're saying none of those things. No, no, it's an old satellite that went kaput. Raj Dixit, vice president of the Sacramento Valley Astronomical Society, put all the extraterrestrial rumors to rest. This was an old Japanese communication satellite known as ICS-EF. It was launched to the International Space Station back in 2009 and then quickly died and became space junk. That satellite was actually launched back in 2009, taking more than a decade to get back down to Earth. Dixit says there's some space junk decades older still floating around, but most of it is in an orbit so stable down for many, many years. I think aliens would be smart enough not to explode in the atmosphere. You, you would hope that if they could get across the universe, and blow up <laughs> as soon as they got here. That's an alien. They're super bright. Yeah, I've never seen any <laughs> like Never seen anything like it. Dixit says it may not be the last time, considering all the space junk that's yet to resurface. Well, as much as we like to fantasize about UFOs or alien invasions or Armageddon asteroids, the truth is a little bit more mundane. Mundane, but interesting all the same. Last night's space debris was estimated about 40 miles high, going thousands of miles per hour. On NASA's website, it says Department of Defense sensors are tracking roughly 27,000 pieces of space junk. Most are larger than a soft. Wow, it was something to see, that's for sure. Yeah, really it really was.